Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this is going to be a treat. Usually everything that I get from Terrapin is usually pretty tasty, so hopefully this will be too. This is their Terrapin's Recreation Ale. And this is a lower ABV beer, uh, packed in a can too, and it has packaged on 7-21-2014 right on the bottom of the can. And uh, guys, I've said this before, I, I like these type of beers. This is a pale ale. And the IPAs, I used to be a big bottle fan, didn't like stuff in cans, but now that I've got into craft beers, cans are the way to go. Keeps the light out off the beer. It doesn't let it skunk as quick. Uh, there's a whole lot of reasons it don't break. Uh, it's easier if you're going camping or, or cycling or biking or any of that kind of stuff to pack some of this stuff with you, not worry about breaking it or, you know, getting busted before you get where you're going. And plus, once you're done, you can smash a can up. And, uh, and, they, and they don't, here in Virginia, they don't recycle or give you a deposit back on any of the bottles like some of the states do. But aluminum is still, you can still smash these up and take them and trade them in for money. So that's a good thing. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm, I'm pretty fond of most of the stuff that Terrapin does. Uh, the uh, commercial description it says, Wrap your hands around a can of Recreation Ale and explore what's outside, what outside life has to offer. This hopped up Session Ale is specific, specially formulated to accompany you on all of your outdoor activities. Pack this, pack in this flavorful ale and pack out the memories while well, enjoying this clappable brew. This is a 4.7 percenter, so it's below a 5 percent. It's designed to be a nice sessionable ale, guys. So, uh, IBUs are 42 on this. So, over to the food pairings for this beer. The food pairings, cuisine is Pan-Asia, cheese, earthy camembert, pontini, your nutty cheeses, Asiago Colby, Parmesan, your tangy cheeses, brick adam and feta, and uh, meat for this is poultry. But this is a very easy drinking beer. It'll go well with just about anything. Uh, grilled meat, chops, burgers, steaks, hot dogs, about anything. So this shouldn't be a very bitter beer with 42 IBUs. It should be very easy drinking. So that's what I'm expecting from this, and I guess this is this is their uh, this is their version uh, of a low ABV session ale, and like I said, with 42 IBUs, it shouldn't be bitter like a lot of the IPAs are. So if you're not into the IPAs or you find them too bitter, this may be one that you can pick up and you might enjoy. So glassware is a pint becker, the tumbler, the mug, stein, the side ale, and. Uh, being a low ABV beer, it is not recommended for extended cellaring, so we're not going to extend the cellaring on this one any further. Let's get this one into the glass. I'm getting a nice citrusy aroma just pouring it into the glass. Alright, set that up there. Very good looking beer with that pour, almost two fingers of head there. Very good looking, over into the light, I can see the bulb right through it. It is a nice orange tangerine color. Very nice looking beer in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Yes, a lot of citrusy notes in this beer. I'm getting oranges, tangerines. Nice floral aroma on the hops on this beer. Wow. Definitely smells good. First beer of the day. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oranges, tangerines. Maybe a light hint of some apricots in there. Very citrusy, very floral. Got a wonderful nose on this beer. Very good job on this beer. Not bitter whatsoever. Very, very easy drinking. 
you could session a six pack of this real easy. And at 4.7%, shouldn't leave you too inebriated. Uh, definitely below the 5%er uh, that, uh, that I consider session ales uh, less than 5% five, five or less. And this uh, fits into that category. So, very nice. Uh, this is the first time I've had this beer. I think this is a new offering from them. I have not seen it before. So I decided to pick this up and review it for you guys. So very tasty. It's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. So let's let it warm up a hair. I'm not gonna let it warm up too, too, too much, and let the other half taste it and uh, see what she thinks of it. And we'll come back and do the final chug on this one. Looks like a pretty good one. I like it. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left here. This is very, very tasty for a pale ale. Not bitter. Nice hot presence, very easy drinking, low ABV, in a can, got a date, what else could you want? Final chug. Very nice, very clean, very crisp, very refreshing, excellent lawnmower beer, something you can drink several of and go back to work or go back to whatever you're doing, especially when it's hot outside. Nice orange, tangerine, citrusy, floral hot presence in this. It's pretty damn tasty, guys. Uh, other than having the IBUs on the can, uh, I can't think of anything else I would say to, to change it. I would like to have that information, but it's not that critical. Uh, I enjoyed this. Definitely worth picking up the six pack. It wasn't very expensive. Uh, I do like the packaging. I do like this can packaging they're going to. A lot of craft brewers are, are going this way because they know it, it's better for the beer. Uh, there's no light able to get into it. It's like a mini keg. I mean, it's like like a, like going and having it on tap somewhere where no light has been able to get to the beer since it was put in there. So it's a good thing. It really is. Uh, I didn't used to think that way, but I do now. Uh, They've got the can situation figured out where you're not tasting that metallic metal taste a lot of times uh, the canned beers can have. So, good deal all the way around, guys. As far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10, which is an A-. minus. I do think it's an A beer. Definitely worth picking up, giving it a try, especially if you're into the pale ales. This is a very tasty one to, to try. Not quite got the hot presence that the Sierra Nevada pale ale has got, but I really don't think it's quite as bitter as the Sierra Nevada's Pale Ale. So, if you're not into the bitter beers or, or the uh, IPAs are, are a little strong for you, pick up one of these Recreation Ales from Terrapin. Very tasty. Very enjoyable. Well, let's see what everybody else thinks. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first. And they say 84 in a good range. I think it's a little bit better than that. And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says overall 92 and 93 in the style. I agree with that 100%. If I was putting a numeric rating on it, that's about where I'd put it. Somewhere between 92 and 93. So, with that being said, pick up a Terrapin Recreation Ale and give it a try. It's pretty tasty. It's not too bitter. With low IBUs. Definitely a tasty session ale. Alright guys, that's all i got to say about this one. If you've had it, let me know what you think. And let's take a walk tomorrow. See what's in the fridge. See you then.